What is going on guys? So a couple of pieces of Jags news kind of came out this morning. Um, one of them is that the Jaguars are not expected to pick up Marcel Darius's um, option on his contract. Now, this was quite an obvious one because by cutting him, we're gonna be saving $20 million on a cap. And for a team that has a lot of cap issues, that's kind of a no doubter to really do. Now, I would like to see if we can possibly try to get a new deal for him just because when he is playing, he's very productive. Uh, you know, a former first round pick, he's gotten a big contract before from the Bills. He was a guy that we acquired in the 2017 uh, kind of at a trade de trade deadline move with the Buffalo Bills, um, giving basically giving up a fifth round pick for him, and he was really big for us. He really improved our run game and really helped us in the playoff push later in the year. But now that he has gone, I mean, we have a huge hole at the position. Now, like our defensive tackle, our three technique, our nose guards, you know, it's kind of limited to like Taven Bryan, Avery Jones, and really that's i mean about it we have we have some other guys like dontavius russell hold on and that's really about it so i mean we're gonna have to try to find some cheap free agents uh to kind of fill a position this off season and definitely go into the draft i mean it would be a dream draft scenario if Derek brown were to fall to number nine but you know that win against the colts might cost us about getting that um so i don't you know so we're, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to fill that three technique somewhere else our run defense might get really really bad but next piece of news that i saw is that the jaguars so, so the marcel darius one that one's pretty credible it came from ian rapaport this next one came from eugene frenette who is a jacksonville media reporter and i couldn't find the report anywhere else so we might need to take this one with a grain of salt but the Jaguars are potentially interested in acquiring tight end from the Baltimore Ravens, Hayden Hurst. Now, Hayden Hurst was a guy that the Jaguars wanted to draft in the 2018 NFL draft before the Ravens snagged him right before the Jaguars did. And, you know, Hayden Hurst is a Jacksonville guy. He actually went to the Bulls school. And, you know, we're a team that is pretty desperate at the tight end position. Now, the, according to Eugene Fournette, the Jaguars are not the only team interested in trying to get a trade for him. It's reported that the, the New England Patriots are also interested in um, his services. So really with this, I mean, I would love to be able to get Hayden Hurst, but at what price? I, I wouldn't, I would give up a late pick, like a fifth, sixth, seventh round pick. I wouldn't do anything more than that. Um, Hayden Hurst really hasn't gotten much of an opportunity in the in the Ravens offense because uh, I mean they just have a couple of tight ends in front of him. Mark Andrews has been, really been uh, putting out for him, and w with this, you know, he hasn't seen many offensive snaps. He haven't, hasn't seen many targets, and according to him, he's really wanting some more, you know, some more reps. So uh, we'll see. But really with this, I mean, there's a lot of good tight ends in free agency, whether you're looking for you know, Eric Ebron, Austin Hooper, um, you know, some of these guys that are on the market. But, you know, Greg Olson already got snagged up by the, by the Seahawks, so they're probably not going to be in the market for that. But, you know, with this man, I, 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 the, the good thing about this is that he has two more years on a rookie deal so it's pretty cheap and you have the fifth year option but is it worth how much how much are you worth giving up for him me i wouldn't go any higher than the fifth round pick you know i would i would you know see what we have in josh oliver we definitely need to get a tight end somehow i just i like the free agency group coming up in the draft or coming up this off season you know we can get some good steals of tight ends in the draft and I just don't think it's worth any higher than a fifth round pick, especially for a team that needs to be able to hit on all of its uh, draft draft picks so desperately. So yeah, those are those are the little pieces of news. I'm at the San Francisco airport, about to fly back to Orlando. Got some exciting stuff coming up and I'll, uh, I'll be keeping up with you guys all along the way. Go Jags, I'm out.